Hello everyone, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my channel. Today is March 20th and it's the first day of spring. If you watched my other vlog about Lily, you would know that I actually don't know when Lily's birthday is. Even though I don't know when my cat's birthday is, like I still want to pick a day to celebrate. And so I picked today. First, I'm going to do whatever she wants. Like I just want to make her happy. But the first thing that makes her absolutely happy is going outside in my backyard. We have these tarps over our outside patio furniture. And Lily likes to go under it because she thinks it's like a tunnel or something. And where is she hiding? I can... Oh, hi! Hi! <laughs> and she just likes to play. Hey, Lily. You're just hiding? <laughs> hi! <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? Why are you disturbing my playtime? She likes to chase like little bugs and flies around. <gasps> What is that? <gasps> what is that? Oh, you almost got it! <laughs> She's like rolling over there like a little roly poly. Oh! I would like to be out here for hours, but I have things to do today. <laughs> She's kind of mad at me right now because she doesn't want to go back inside, but I'm sorry, baby, we gotta go. Okay, we're back inside right now, but I feel so bad. I'm gonna give her a little treat. So when your cat turns from a kitten to a cat, they need different food. So I have kitten food and then I have cat food. It's for like adults one through six. However, I try to feed her only cat food and um, yeah, she threw up. It's okay, baby, you can say hi to the camera. Hi! You waiting for your treats? So I have to feed her kitten food. I felt like really bad for making her come back inside. <laughs> you sniffing around for more treats? I am so extra when it comes to my cat she cannot even read this but it seems like she likes it so we're gonna do it i want to shop for lily because she deserves some toys for her birthday and maybe even some more treats right lily bye <laughs> say yes say i want some treats looks like my kitten is about to take a nap so i'm gonna go shopping now that she's all tired. So right now I'm in the toy section and I'm looking for toys for my kitty. Oh, look at all these toys. Oh, I think I like this one. I just want to buy everything. What is this? Spin me? Oh, um, okay. You're supposed to put the catnip in there and it's supposed to like move around. Maybe she'll like that. I think that I want this one too because it's supposedly a fun interactive toy. <laughs> I really like this one. Oh my gosh. It's a cactus bed. <gasps> in the inside too it's so cute but i feel like it'll look tacky in my house look at these fluffy beds oh it feels so nice i think i'll do one of these oh look at all the bowls oh look at all these treats I don't know which one to buy for Lily. Oh my gosh, guys. Should I get another kitten? Should I get another kitten? Oh my goodness, you're so beautiful. Hi, how are you? Oh, hey, kitty pie. I just want to give you some love, okay? 
You don't want to see me? That's fine. You don't have to see me. Lily is hiding in the corner with her new toy. You love it? You love your new toy? Oh! Lily loved her gifts, treats, and hours outside. This is her new eating station. I got her a water fountain, wet food dish, dry food bowl, placemat, flowers, and even a painting. For this portion of the video, I'm going to be answering questions that you guys sent me either in the comments or through Instagram DMs. The first question that you guys keep asking me, which is a great question, is has Lily gotten fixed? And yes, she has had the surgery. She cannot produce children anymore. I don't know if you guys know this, but there is an overpopulation of cats and kittens right now. There's kittens who um, are in kill shelters who get euthanized. There's kittens who are strays, who don't have a forever home. And it really bothers me to see cats in shelters. It really does break my heart because they're in like these really small cages and they have their bed right next to their litter and their litter right next to their food and they have like a little space in between to like play but they don't have any toys and they just lock them up in these cages all day and they have no type of simulation or socialization or comfort or activity and fun and it's really sad to see these cats and you can tell that they're depressed you can tell that they're not happy and I don't want to add to that problem so that's why I got my cat fixed next question what was it <laughs> the next question is am I going to adopt another cat for Lily so that she can have a playmate or a life partner the answer is I do want to get another cat I have been looking, but I haven't found the right cat that meshes with Lily. My little cousin Natalie has a cat and I set up a play date with my kitten and her cat. Hey, you are. Hey, you are. Rebecca sent me to see if you're okay. And, um, guys, it did not work out the way that I thought that it would. My cat is extremely playful and friendly and outgoing and social, but she does not act that way around other cats. However, my cousin also has a dog. She's um, an older senior citizen dog, and she got, a, she got along very well with the dog. She was playing with the dog. She didn't really hiss at the dog very much. They were in the same car together and they didn't really have any problems. Um, she didn't attack the dog, but when it came to the cat, that was a whole different story. They hissed at each other. They were going to fight. She actually bit me. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe I can, hold on. Yeah, she bit me right here and right here. And I had to take medications for it. I had to go to the doctor for it. If you guys don't treat a cat wound, a cat bite, you could, number one, you can get diseases if they're not vaccinated, but my cat is vaccinated, thank goodness. But if the cat wound is very deep and it hits like, you know, like your tendons or your muscles, the saliva has bacteria and then the bacteria will infect the wound and the muscles around it and will go into the bloodstream and cause something called sepsis, which is a blood infection. And the blood infection could possibly, if it develops, shut down your organs. And if your organs shut down, you could die. <laughs> so... I didn't know that and I had like a whole four days like after she bit me I had a whole four days um of not knowing any of that and I didn't go to the doctor or anything and then pus was coming out of my wound and then I'm like hmm this looks this looks infected maybe I want to go to the doctor so I went to the doctor got medications and I'm fine I'm perfectly fine according to the play date it just wasn't happening so yeah the third question was, how does your cat react to snow? And I would say that she likes it. I am also going to add a clip in here right now just to show you guys how she reacts to snow. I 
would say that she doesn't like to be in it for too long because it freezes her little paws. But otherwise, she likes to watch it fall and she likes to play in it as long as it's not too deep. I think those were the most common questions that I received. I don't want to make this video too long. Please don't hesitate if you guys have any more questions to leave a comment down below and I'll answer them the best that I can. I hope that you guys liked it. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you haven't already. Bye guys. Have a good day. See you next time.